Hi everyone, it's Shiloh from Berwick Public Library. Uh, and this video is actually f more for parents and caretakers, even teachers, um, to talk a little bit about um, how we can more easily and maybe more comfortably talk about race with kids, with everything that has been going on lately. I know I've seen some parents who are struggling with how to talk to their kids about it because what they see in the news is it's scary and it's confusing and when you don't necessarily live your life like that or if you live, you know, like me with my pale skin in southern Maine where everybody else pretty much looks like me, um, it, it can be hard to fathom for a child. It can be hard for them to understand. And um, we're lucky in that there are so many wonderful books now for small children right on up. And you can find ones that are going to help you start the conversations that you want to have with your kids. So you see me sort of surrounded by just a few of the books that we have here at Broward Public Library. We've been working really hard to get even more books um, that represent the diversity that we have in this country and all across the globe, of course. Um, the ones that I have picked out today are mo mostly um, African American. And you'll see that we have some really, there are great books. It's a story about a boy who was riding on the back of the bus um, the day Rosa Parks took her stand. We have all, we have different books that talk about the history, so from, from slavery, and some of them are really, really basic, but really incredibly powerful. Shane Evans has a lot of wonderful books, um, but you can see that very simple the darkness, the escape. You know, you know as an adult where it's going with this, but it's a good way to really talk about this piece of history. Um, and, it, and it goes right on up to, this is one of my favorites, Fearless Mary. Um, never heard of her until <laughs> this book came, um, came into my, my view. So, it's, it's about um, a stagecoach driver who, she was a slave and she moved out west and she was uh, an American, she was a woman, African American, um, and really had to prove herself. But she was about as brave and um, clever as you could be. And it's just a great, I mean look, she's got an eagle on her hand there. Um, and there's also, of course, books on um, Ruby Bridges and Dr. Luther King, and we've got some about um, sit-ins and protests and, and all sorts of things um, that can help. But we also have, well, actually, I want to point out, we have a couple by, like this, um, talks about uh, a child whose parents are um, multiracial and and just how they talk to him about it and what it's like to have that sort of um, background I suppose that sort of ancestry but it's also important to just read books that have different skin tones in them different um, different ways of being, right? So, I'm focusing just on skin tones for this one. This book directly um, addresses it, but then there are books like The Hello Goodbye Window, which has been around for quite a while and um, mentions nothing about skin color, but it's just there, right? The grandmother has dark skin, the grandfather has light skin. And it's just there, and it's it just sort of normalizes 
kids seeing that because we don't always, if you look at a lot of the picture books that we have, especially older ones, um, you know, you see a lot of light skin and it's, it's easy for kids to forget that there might be others out there in their struggle. Um, you know, we talk a lot about, I don't see color, I, you know, but we can't do that anymore, obviously. We have to see color and we have to understand it and we have to be able to talk about it. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to the library. Uh, we've already been sending some books out for parents who seem to want to use them to open up that conversation with their kids. So even if you don't come to Borough Public Library, you can reach out to your local library or look online. We'll include some links to things like Diverse Book Finder, which is an amazing resource and place to look. Um, and it is based right here in Maine. It was started right here in Maine, which is extra cool. Um, so there is that. I'm going to do a story time reading a few of these books, but this was just sort of my little public service announcement that we have some wonderful choices here at the library, and it's a great way to start a conversation. If you have any questions, if you have any comments on how you've approached this with your kids, um, I'd love to hear them because I think the more we talk about it, the better we'll all get at this. So thanks. We'll see you all soon.